Well, have you ever seen three large randomized phase three trials in ovarian cancer presented at a plenary session? I haven't, so it was, it was spectacular. And I'll, I'll just quickly give you a summary of the three. Prima uh, looked at niraparib uh, in a first line maintenance setting. Um, it was a well-conducted study, positive in favor of niraparib placebo. And more importantly, it demonstrated the patients who had BRCA1 uh, or 2 mutations or HRD abnormalities. Uh, and even if you look at the paper, which is out now, patients who had neither of those, and they, so they were HR proficient, benefit from niraparib. So I think this will go to FDA registration. It's likely to be approved. And we'll have a much broader group of patients who um, will benefit from the drug. The other two studies, one was Valelia, uh, which uses, was testing Valaparib. Valaparib is a different PARP inhibitor. Most of us feel it's a slightly weaker PARP inhibitor, which is why in the trial design they did concurrent treatment with a PARP inhibitor while they were getting chemo. Uh, and then they went on to a maintenance phase. And the results were positive in favor of the PARP inhibitor. A couple caveats, I don't think the hazard ratios were as impressive as Solo 1 uh, or uh, Prima. Uh, and two, the um, toxicity in combination with chemotherapy was still a little bit higher. There was some thrombocytopenia, a little bit more anemia. So where that drug goes at this point, I'm not quite sure. But it was definitely a positive trial. And then the third trial was PALA-1, P-A-O-L-A-1. Interesting study. It looked at the um, combination of Olaparib with Bevacizumab in first-line maintenance compared to Bevacizumab alone. The reason this is important is that Bev is already approved, and a lot of us use it. And now PARPs are coming into place, and so there's a lot of debate about who should get Bev and who should get uh, PARP inhibitors. Or, and so, so this trial, which is positive in favor of the combination, suggests that a large percentage of patients benefit from getting both drugs together. Is it everybody? Well, we're going to argue about that. It's certainly BRCA1 and 2 mutated patients, and it's also HRD patients. In the true, true HR proficient patients, it's not clear they benefit from the combination. They may be the patients who get Bevalone.